now she choosing me I like what she do to me She say she feel safer over here This where the shooters be She say ain't no paper up over there Shit, she barely eating and barely feeding Oh, shit What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Kurt And I'm back with another banger You know what I'm saying? I said we were another banger Fuck the time out But shit, today I'm gonna be doing a little Basically Why did I leave Arkansas? So shit. I don't even know where to start off with shit. So. Okay, I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna start off with the good. But before we get in this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'm gonna get over with y'all. Um, uh, yeah. So shit, why did I leave Arkansas? And will I be coming back? See, why did I leave Arkansas? It's a whole lot of reasons to be real. But shit, my main reason to leave Arkansas, cause as y'all seen, I was one of the best players on the team. I would like to say I'm the best player, but shit, I was one of the best players on the team. I was all state, all conference. Shit, had probably like 1,700 all-purpose yards. Shit, broke the school record. Broke the school record. Shit, I was leading Arkansas in touchdowns at one point. I was number one in the state at one point. That's at one point though. I don't think I finished number one. But yeah. And shit, basically, I still didn't have no offers. Really didn't have no interest. Only coach that even like, even that text my coach about me that I know about was UAPB. And shit. I don't know, I just feel like it was my time to move. Shit, I ain't get no offer, no interest. Shit, the only thing coaches really was looking at me like that. That's just because of Arkansas, though. So probably just because of the school. Probably because of the coaches, I don't know. It's just that. It's Arkansas, shit. Texas, Texas is a, a football state. Like, more exposure. Shit, more more coaches coming through the schools because it's a bigger school, bigger state. I'm guessing, but shit. Speaking of exposure, my second reason to live because YouTube. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna put it. Football is my second reason to live. YouTube's my third. I got. I'm gonna go back to my first. But shit, back going back to exposure. YouTube. I think I got exposure. When I was in Arkansas, I gained 800, okay, I'm gonna say I left Arkansas with 850 subscribers. We just gonna say 850, I don't know the exact amount. It's probably like 820, 830, 840. But I know everybody not from Arkansas that subscribes to me, but I'm gonna just say that amount. I'm gonna say I uh, gained 850 subscribers, I left the John for Arkansas. Shit, basically, I'm finna like, if I come to Texas, not in this small last city, not in this small last state. Motherfuckers gonna support more like shit. I feel like in Jonesboro, Arkansas, everybody just hate on each other. And like, I don't know, like shit. But it wasn't good for me, enough exposure. My video used to do numbers. Shit, I feel like motherfuckers started hating on me and shit. They stopped watching my videos, they stopped liking my shit. I, my subscribers started going down. Motherfuckers started not subscribing to me. But, at first, I wasn't consistent during, during the new year. I started posting every day. My subscribers started going back up. I started feeling this shit. So that's why I'm just, I, I made, like, I said that I was going to post every day of 2023. But shit, a whole lot of shit happened with this moving process. Like, shit. This is going back to the first reason I moved. Shit, when I, when I told my mom I wanted to move, I had 
text I said, Mom, I think it's best for me to move right now. Go say what's up, you What the fuck? Pick my bad motherfucking uh, kitchen up. That <laughs> boy, get your ass. Nah, for real, that shit. YouTube, you on YouTube with it? Uh -huh. Let's go. Bro, sit here, grind my old. I can hear it. YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Glizzy Fan Curtain, the bit, and Chosen One. Follow me on IG. I just chose one. I'm just <laughs> Hey, for real though, when I go to the studio, you ain't going, did you? Yeah, I might, I don't know. I don't know how you record your TikTok, bro. Yeah, I might, come. Uh, that might be another YouTube video coming up, for sure. But basically, what I was saying, oh, uh, yeah, when I found out, when I took my mom and told her that I was, like, mentally drained from Arkansas shit, the people there was mentally draining me, like, I just felt like I couldn't, I couldn't be there no more. Like, but when I moved, when I thought, when I was like, when I actually found out that I was about to move, I was like, damn, I'm really leaving my people. I'm really leaving my, I'm leaving my brothers that like had me. Shit, when I first got there, like shit, when I moved in seventh grade, the niggas always been on my side. Like they introduced me to everybody. Like my, like I met them first out of everybody in Jones and that shit. And all that shit just came along with it. But like, I was mentally drained from Arkansas and shit. Like, I basically been standing my whole life. Like, after I, like, we stayed in Blabo and we moved to Virginia. But we stayed in Virginia, we moved to Blabo, we moved to Oklahoma, we moved back to Blabo. And then we moved to we moved to Jones, but we just been staying in Arkansas our whole life. Like my mom said she was moving too, but right now, right now I'm staying with my brother until they move down here. But shit, this we chilling, we robbing down here and shit. But like, I had to move my number one reason moving because I was trying to focus on me, my mental health, sports, YouTube. Like, I didn't come down here for no females. I, I came down here to work. I came down here to grind, YouTube, football, basketball, all that shit. I came down here to grind. I didn't come down here for no females. I came down here to get money. One thing, get famous, get bread, all that shit. Like, I don't know, but like, I just felt like I was mentally drained. Like, if I didn't, like, leave, like, I probably could have did something to myself. And, like, people out there, y'all don't understand, like, you might. You might not want to leave everything behind, family, friends that you've been there with your whole life, mostly your whole life, your family, friends, mom, dad, grandpa, grand, grandma, all that. Like, you probably don't want to leave it behind. But if you think about it, if that's what's best for you, like, I advise you to just, like, go ahead and leave. Like, if you think that's what's best for you, like, go ahead and leave on some real shit. Cause, like, like, I don't think, I would have never got to the point that I would hurt myself. But I know that there's plenty of people out there that like, if they get to the point that I was at, like they mentally drained, heartbroken, all that, I feel like there's people out there that would hurt themselves. But me being strong, the strong individual I am, like shit, I feel like I got through that shit. Of course, with help. Like, my little sister Monica, like, Monica and Mel, they was B3, Brandon, shit. My homeboys, like, my granny passed, like, that shit took me out, but they was there for me. Especially B3, that's my boy, he was there for me. The whole mob, they turning me up, having a good laugh, make sure I don't think about it, get my head off that shit. Like, they was all there for me, like, and then recently when, my little sister, my little sister baby just passed away. She had a seizure and like, that hurted me even more. Like I didn't want to move because of this shit. I didn't want to move no more, but she was like, bro, go do you. She said, we know you're going to be great. She said, just don't forget about us. And I'm going to remember that shit till like the day I die, I swear. Like, and then, I love them, but I love money and Mel. <laughs> That's my real deal family. I can't fake it. We had Mel. That's my little sister. I 
I love her to death. I got y'all for life and I can't fake it. But shit, yeah, they was, they was there for me, shit. All my family, all my brothers and shit. Even when my mama didn't notice that I was in that, in that hole, that deep hole that I couldn't get out of. My brothers, my little sisters, they was all there for me and I really uh, appreciate y'all for that. But like y'all told me though, shit, I just, like I told y'all though, if you ever feel like you need to leave, make the best decision for you and leave, like on some real shit, <clears throat> just go on here and leave if you feel like that's the right decision. But shit, cause like, when I found out I was moving, I texted the group chat, I was like, move, move, move. But I don't really want to leave y'all. I feel like I'm letting the team down. I feel like I'm letting y'all down. But shit, I was there for them. They was there for me. Shit, we was there for each other. Shit, like when nobody else had us on some real shit. Like we was there for each other. That's why I told them boys when I when I when I start grinding this shit, like this YouTube shit, I know I'm gonna blow in this shit soon, bro. I'm trying to be humble though. Like when I'm doing this shit, I just know my guys coming up with me. Just know this shit on some real shit. Shout out to my old mama. But on some real shit, though, like, but if you, like, feel like that, like, if you feel like you finna get to that point where you finna hurt yourself or, or you need somebody to talk to, just go talk to somebody or move away, get away, like, do what's best for you. And that's what everybody told me, do what's best for me, I'm doing what's best for me. Like, I'm happy I'm making good decisions in life. They want me to make it out on some real shit. But the question that everybody, like, want me to answer, like, would I be coming back? I know this football season, I'm gonna for sure be in Texas. I wanna play football in Texas. Basketball, I don't know. But only reason I was gonna go back to Jonesboro, to Arkansas, period, because I wanted to graduate with my class. Like, because I've been knowing them, like, since, like I said, since seventh grade, so shit, I wanna graduate with my people. But shit, if you know, like, if I just have, as of right now, I'm going back for my senior graduation at Douglas High School. But, but you know how they go, like, if I start, you know what I'm saying, feeling it down here, I might have to go ahead and graduate down here. I might as well, like, I don't know, though. But, like, but shit, I was trying not to cry during the video, so I'm going to just keep my emotions down, keep my emotions up right now, because, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I was really a hurt, mentally drained, and, like, shit, I feel like I had to go, like, like, it was no other option. And it took one person to like make me realize that and like not in a bad way but it was just like how they made me realize it, it was in a good way like because we was arguing like and like they made me like i'm thankful for that shit i can't fake it like she really like made me like yeah like it was my time but shit yeah that's gonna be the end of this video Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and shit. Just know I'm grinding every day for this shit. I swear I am. But yeah, if you ain't subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead, subscribe, and hit the little bell right beside it. Keep the not notifications on, but shit. That's gonna be the end of this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, Lil' Kurt, and I'm gone. Oh, uh, yeah.